Hi, welcome back to Circuits with Angel. Today, we'll be learning about the capacitive circuit we will build and what it does. Now let's learn more about this. The electrons in the circuit have a direct path to the capacitor. And because there is no resistors, the capacitor fills up with electricity almost instantly. Because electrons move at the speed of light. A way to imagine this is that the capacitor is an electron battery that charges and discharges, like a beating heart, which pumps blood throughout the body. Except that in an electronic circuit, you will find multiple capacitors operating at the same time. In the average electronic device, you can find hundreds of capacitors. When we press this button here, we open the way to the negative leg, the cathode, so the electrons can go in. Now the capacitor is charged, it will remain charged until we open the anode, the positive leg, which allows it to discharge slowly and fade away slowly as the electrons leave the capacitor. So this is a 16 volt, 1000 microfarad capacitor. If we don't use a resistor with our working components in the circuit, we risk burning those components out. In this case, an LED. The electrons will go so fast through the LED, it will burn out. It is also important that you do not have this capacitor powered with over 16 or more volts, or else it will, um, well, explode. Unless you know what you're doing, you should only use power supplies you have in your kit. Those for sure will not overload the capacitor. To prove this, before we get to our three points, I will burn out our LED. We will take the resistor out and replace it with a jumper wire. And I am correct. Always remember to put a resistor in your circuit or else you will burn it out. Alright, here are three points. 
One, capacitors are the beating heart of all electronic circuits. Two, capacitors have a cathode and anode and must be put in correctly. And three, capacitors cannot be overloaded or else you could hurt yourself. The value is written on the side of the capacitor and it must be carefully followed. Always remember, safety first. Thank you for watching and see you next time.